Afghan President Hamid Karzai has told NDTV the U.S. can't be aggressive or intimidate him to sign a troop deal post-2014. He stalled the deal to allow bases with possibly up to 15,000 troops in Afghanistan after the withdrawal of combat personnel. Speaking exclusively to NDTV's Amitabh Revi in his palace in Kabul before his India trip, the Afghan president said he appreciates the money and sacrifice from America, but Afghanistan has sacrificed the most in the war on terror. Some of the noises that are coming out of the American side, uh, which could be portrayed as some kind of threat, which is what you have brought up in the past, even going as far as to say that the U.S. is behaving like a colonial power. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They do behave at times like that. You see, if you, uh, if you, if you survey the U.S. and generally the Western press in the past three years, uh, there has been a, 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 a barrage of uh, um, uh, propaganda um, uh, with regard to 2014 and the consequences for Afghanistan. Uh, that was the narrative they, I was talking about. Uh, that, that, that is not right. Allies should not be waging psychological war against um, each other. Uh, if we are friends, if we are allies, we must be treated as friends and allies. They need not attack us psychologically. They need not weaken our resolve. They need not portray us in a manner as if we are in such terrible need if that they are not here. We are neither a nation, nor a country, nor a history, nor a culture, nor a future. That's not right. Yeah. We will be here whether the U.S. is here or not. That's where we are. This is our country. But of course, we may be in more trouble, we may be poorer in certain ways, uh, but Afghanistan can continue and will survive as it has survived for thousands of years. So, President, are you saying that you do see certain statements and certain meetings between you and top U.S. leadership as a threat? They do occasionally behave in a manner that's not uh, um, uh, um, becoming of a, of a big power. And we hope that they recognize and change that. Um, uh, we are um, uh, a good uh, uh, friend with them. We have, we have given immense sacrifice in the war on terror. No country has given as much sacrifice as we have before September 11 and after September 11, the way but, we tolerate it. Sacrifice is what is being portrayed from the US side as well, uh, recently James Dobbins in Congress. We recognize, we recognize uh, the life uh, uh, the, the, the blood and treasure that they have um, spent in Afghanistan. We consider that a sacrifice, when which we appreciate considerably. But uh, by comparison, Afghanistan has given much, much greater sacrifice of its uh, uh, people, children, women, um, uh, territory, um, environment, and time. So our sacrifice is greater. And if it's a war on terror, then we are a bigger partner. That's an important If it's point. a war on terror, if it is a war on terror, then Afghanistan is a bigger partner. Then Afghanistan has contributed more. If you put it in money, it's over trillions of dollars that we have put in. Uh, so uh, More importantly, the blood that has been shed. If you put it in money, it, it cannot be valued in, 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 sure. in terms of money. But if you put it in, in, in money, it's trillions and trillions uh, that we have uh, contributed to this cause. All the points that you've brought up in, in this last answer, do you think the US, Washington is recognizing some of that in terms of lowering the rhetoric for the need to sign the BSA by the end of this year? Uh, aggressive rhetoric will not force us into signing. We are not a nation known for Sure. Intimidation. But have they recognized by lowering that rhetoric? Because uh, well, now there's no uh, timetable as if such. If they have not recognized, they should recognize it. It's good for them to recognize that uh, we will sign it, but when we are sure that that signature will bring security and will launch a peace process for Afghanistan, where Afghanistan will feel secure and good.